Hi everyone, my name's Kathy. I'm a sonographer from the University of Auckland and today we're going to be looking at the kidneys and bladder. This is Bruce, our patient for today. We're going to begin by assessing his bladder. He has arrived for, with his, for the scan with a full bladder. So for his comfort, we will assess that first and then let him go to the bathroom. Beginning by placing gel on his lower abdomen. We will be using the C51 transducer for the scan today. Starting off looking in transverse views. We'll be scanning through his bladder here, starting off superiorly, coming through inferiorly and in transverse. As we can see, he has a very, very full bladder. We're going to scan right through the organ. The main thing when we're looking at any organ is that we actually scan right through and out of the organ when we are assessing it. So I'm going to come right out of the borders of the bladder. Then I'm going to turn into longitudinal, starting off in the midline, Adjusting my focus and depth at all times. Scanning from the midline out through the right side, out of the bladder. Then coming back through, scanning through and out to the other side of the bladder, to the left side here. So now that we've surveyed the organs, we're just going to take some images. First of all, we're going to take a transverse image of the bladder, angling slightly posteriorly so that we can see the prostate gland at the back of the image just in here. Here is Jed's bladder here, prostate gland here. I'm going to scan up slightly, adjust my focus and gain so that I've got a nice image of the bladder and take an image of the bladder labeling that as the transverse bladder view. Next images I'm going to take are in the longitudinal starting off in the midline here we have got midline of the bladder, bladder here just catching a little bit of the prostate here and just going to image that there. We also are going to image the bladder in longitudinal to the right. We're just getting some reverberation in the bladder just because Bruce's bladder is so full and we're just going to image that here as right and then I'm going to come back through and image the bladder in longitudinal again but over to the left. Another important thing to assess when we're looking for the bladder is the ureteric jets. A really quick easy way to do this is by applying our colour Doppler onto the image here, coming to the base of the bladder and watching for the ureteric jets as they come out, which your bladder might be too full. Here we can see one ureteric jet, here we can actually see the urine emptying into the bladder from the right ureter here and we can see the ureteric jet here entering the urine entering into the bladder from the left ureteric jet. So we're going to image that there again just going to call that transverse left and get one here of the Again, just assessing for the ureteric jet. Left ureteric jet there. And that was the right ureteric jet just coming out here. So those are all the images that we need to take of the bladder. Before we send Bruce to the bathroom, we're just going to take a pre-void volume of the bladder just so that we can assess the pre-void and post-void amount. So starting off in transverse I'm just going to do a measurement across the bladder here. We're measuring from left to right here. And then I will just turn my transducer into clockwise into longitudinal position. Find the midline of the bladder 
and just do a measurement here. So we're going to do from anterior to posterior here and then we're just going to measure the width here and this will give us our volume pre-voiding. We're just going to send Bruce to the bathroom now to empty his bladder. On return we will measure the post-void volume. Bruce has returned from the bathroom and we're now going to measure his post-void residual volume. So starting off here I'm going to put the image into dual, scanning through transversely through the bladder, through the pelvis, trying to see if there is any fluid in the bladder. We're going to adjust our controls here. The bladder is remarkably decreased in size. And here we have a small amount of fluid in the bladder and I'm going to turn the transducer clockwise and measure the bladder and take an image of the bladder, sorry, in longitudinal as well and now do a measurement here of the post void volume. Again in transverse we measure the bladder from side to side. We measure it in longitudinally from the anterior to the posterior border and then we're also going to measure the width here. Bruce's post void volume is 36 mils so greatly reduced from 500 mils. We will then image this to demonstrate how much fluid is left in his bladder. We're now going to go on to assess Bruce's right kidney. Bruce, can you just move slightly towards me and turn, turn your body away so that you're in a decued position. Again, making sure that the leg is stretched straight out so we can get non-squashed organ up here. Apply gel to the skin surface, making sure that we do not touch the skin with the gel bottle. We're just going to start by surveying the kidney. We survey the kidney in two views, in longitudinal and in transverse. Bruce, can you just take a big breath in for me and hold on to it? For my survey, I'm just going to make sure I've got all my factors set correctly. So I'm going to make sure that my kidney is in the frame here so that we're not losing the superior border of the kidney here. I want to make sure my gain is my, my time gain compensation is set so that I'm getting a nice even amount of graze throughout the kidney here. My focal zone I'm going to set just at the bottom here of the kidney. Breathe away, thank you. And just take another breath in for me and hold on to it. I'm going to start by sweeping through the kidney. So I'm going to start from the medial border of the kidney scanning through the kidney in longitudinal all the way through here assessing both the medulla and the contour of the kidney coming through and when I scan I make sure that I scan right out of the kidney just breathe away there it's really important when you scan the kidney that you actually scan past the borders of the medial and the lateral borders of the kidney in longitudinal so we're just going to scan that through once more take a breath in and hold it again for me Bruce Scanning through here, we're just assessing the kidney here and breathe away for me. Before I do my in any images, I'm also going to assess the kidney, survey the kidney in transverse. So we start here, just take another breath in here. Angling up through here, I start by the, using the right lobe of the wind right lobe of the liver as the window. Scanning through here, we can now see the superior board pole of the kidney coming through here, coming medially here, so this is the transverse view, here's the renal pelvis there, we can see the vessels coming out of the kidney, and I'm scanning now through here, through to the lower pole of the kidney, ensuring that I actually scan out of the kidney here, just breathe away. Exophytic lesions can be easily missed if you do not survey and scan through, out, through the kidney and out of the kidney just going to take the images of the kidney here now so we'll start by doing doing some longitudinal images so Bruce can you take a big breath in and hold on to it for me now so my just going to bring my sector width in slightly and breathe away 
and just take another breath in and hold on to it for me. So the first image I'm going to take is right in the middle of the kidney here. Breathe away for me, thank you. What we want to ensure here that we're actually not obliquing through the kidney and the way that we can ensure we aren't obliquing through the kidney is so that we can see that there is parenchyma in an even um, amount all the way through the kidney. So here's the medulla of the kidney here. We've got parenchyma coming around here and we've got parenchyma here that's on an even amount as compared to the parenchyma on the, the lower pole of the kidney. So we know that we are right in the midline of the kidney. I'm going to measure the kidney now from the upper pole of the kidney, which is here, to the lower pole of the kidney. Measuring the length there. This kidney here measures 104 millimetres, which is completely within the normal range. Labelling this here, we're now just going to label right kidney long and take an image of this. My next image of the kidney will be to move laterally and take an image of the lateral portion of the kidney. So just take a breath in again for me Bruce, thanks. So here is our medial kidney. I'm now scanning, sweeping out here, so this is the parenchyma here. I want to take an image of the lateral part of the kidney, breathe away here. So here we can see we've lost the medullary portion of the kidney here and so we can just see the cortex here. And another breath in. And my final longitudinal image of the kidney will be medially. So we're actually looking at the renal pelvis here. So these are where the vessels are exiting out of the kidney here and entering into the kidney here. So we're just going to take, breathe away for me, thank you, an image here showing here's the rink of the kidney, but this is where the collecting system of the kidney is here. And we're just going to image that as well. Transverse images here. We want to be really methodical with our images and always scan from the top to the bottom of the kidney so that we um, take representative images here. Can you just take another breath in and hold on to it for me? So starting off at the right lobe of the liver, here we've got the beautiful parenchyma of the liver coming through here. I'm using the liver as a window so that I get a nice even echotexture when I'm looking at the upper pole of the right kidney. So here we've got the upper pole of the right kidney just in here. Breathe away. Sometimes on our transverse images we might need to come interconsciously and use the liver to angle down to get the upper pole of the kidney. Just take a breath in again for me, thanks. So here we've got the liver here. I'm coming intercostally here using this liver as a nice window and here we get a beautiful image here of the upper pole of the kidney with nice even echotexture. Breathe away please. then another breath in for me and hold on to it. Just coming down here now we've got a really just adjusting my depth so we've got the kidney outlined here. This is the middle part of the kidney here. We can tell you that it's the medial part of the kidney because we've got the vessels leaving the kidney here so we're just going to take an image here of the medial portion of the kidney in transverse. We also want to ensure that these hypoechoic areas here are vessels and not a dilated ureter. The way that we assess that this is by putting using colour to identify the vasculature. So I'll get you to take another breath in for me here. So in the mid portion of this kidney here now, I'll find those vessels here and I'm going to put the colour on and just ensure here that we've got vessels coming out here. So this is a little bit of a ureter here. We can see that there because we haven't got any colour here. So I'm going to change my angle when I'm looking at that just to make sure that I do get a good Doppler angle and that is in fact a ureter as opposed to a vessel with poor colour flow due to a poor Doppler angle. Breathe away, sorry. And another breath in. Here I'm just taking an image of the transverse, transverse pelvis the kidney here, just showing the vessels with the blood vessels extending into the kidney itself. And just take another breath in for me. Taking our colour off, we're now just going to scan down to the lower pole of the kidney here, 
breathe away for me here. Here we can just see the kidney here. You can see my focus here isn't in the correct position and I'm going to redo this image here, just moving my focal zone so that it's up a little bit higher. So we're going to get more resolution with our kidney here. So just take another breath in for me now, thanks. Just increase my depth and have my focal zone here. So now we can see that kidney really, really nicely there. Breathe away, thanks. And just one more breath in for me. Um, just finishing the scan by surveying through again, just making sure that with this, we've surveyed the kidney in its entirety. That is how we scan the right kidney. Obviously after this we would continue to scan the left kidney in the same way that we have scanned the right kidney.